Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kidley, and a little bit of a gaming news. Uh, I've got an update on Mass Effect Andromeda, which is the brand new Mass Effect game that's going to be coming out in early 2017. Now, if you don't know, Mass Effect is my favorite gaming franchise of all time. I absolutely love that series. And the developers at BioWare have been pretty silent on this game and what this game is going to be all about. And then they actually here a few days ago released a update on the, the game giving some information. So I actually want to read some of this update to you. And with E3 coming up here in a couple of weeks, it has been announced that Mass Effect Andromeda will be there. So during the uh, EA press event, I'm sure they're going to have a really big showing for the game, and it's going to be super, super exciting. Now, before we actually get into the, into the update, somebody, you, you might ask, well, do you plan on doing a bunch of coverage for Mass Effect Andromeda on, on YouTube? And surprisingly, I think what I'm going to do is, because this is going to be such a big game, it's probably going to be a 50-plus hour game. If I'm already doing a bunch of stuff for No Man's Sky, which that game is infinite, it's going to go on forever, potentially, I really don't want to do a bunch of No Man's Sky and a bunch of Mass Effect. So I think my very loose plans for Mass Effect Andromeda is I'm going to do it all on Twitch. When that game comes out, I'm going to be streaming that game nonstop every single night on Twitch. So that's sort of my loose plans. But yeah, here's the uh, here's the update from the Bioware team. And again, like I said, I'm just going to sort of uh, briefly read through... Uh, some of what they said in their update. So it says here, With Mass Effect Andromeda, our team at Bioware is exploring how far they can take this beloved franchise. Uh, what, what did I say? French fries? Franchise. Let's try that again. Uh, yes, we're building the best of what we all loved about Mass Effect's amazing stories, characters, and fun third-person shooter combat and bringing them along with us to the expedition to Andromeda. Now, a couple of uh, sort of bold points they have on this is more freedom, new Uncharted worlds, and then the next great Mass Effect experience. Under more freedom, it says, one of our biggest ambitions is to give players the unprecedented level of freedom for the Mass Effect experience. Where you go, how you get there, and how you'll play is totally up to you. Then for the new Uncharted Worlds, it says we are leaving the Milky Way galaxy behind and headed to Andromeda, where we will meet new aliens, confront new enemies, and explore fascinating new worlds. And then for the great or the next great uh, Mass Effect experience, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda will be the first Mass Effect game running uh, running for today's machines, the Xbox One, the PS4, and the first to be built on the brand new Frostbite engine. So let's just briefly talk about a couple of those key points. Well, first of all, the Frostbite engine is an amazing engine. I'm sure most of you at this point have seen Star Wars Battlefront and how beautiful that game looks. Can you imagine Mass Effect with that level of detail? That could be incredible absolutely incredible. Uh, back to this other line about we'll be, we'll be leaving the Milky Way galaxy. There's been some rumors out there on exactly what the story is for this game. It's believed that Andromeda is going to take place after Mass Effect 3. So, you know, the Reapers came in. They basically just wrecked everything before uh, the universe was able to come together and destroy the Reapers. And so, sort of the rumor on that is... A lot of the planets, like Earth as an example, is just so wrecked that we can't live there anymore. The humans cannot live there anymore. So one of your big goals in Mass Effect Andromeda is to actually find a new home or a new home world for the human race. And then there's also the other worlds you can find for all the different colonies. So I think that's perhaps what they mean by leaving the Milky Way galaxy and going somewhere else which is pretty cool. But it's going to be really interesting to see exactly how open this game really is. You know, Mass Effect 3, as an example, it's sort of like once you got past the so-called tutorial part of the game, 
they, you know, that game opened up pretty good. And it's just, so it's, it was sort of like, you know, here's your missions. You can do them in what order you want. Are they going to do it like that? Are they going to do it some other way? It's, it's going to be hard to say. But that's basically just the, the brief little thing that they had in their update. It sounds like they are really trying to take their time. There was a, a little blurp in here about that's one reason why they pushed it back to spring of 2017 because they want to make sure that they they get it done correctly which is it's good to hear that they're not trying to to rush this out so I'm really really pleased with that I'm definitely concerned because in Mass Effect 1 2 and 3 you know what was it that made those games what it was was it the gameplay no it was the characters it was the story and so now that you're you're basically having a new main hero, you know, a different story, and all of the characters that we loved, you know, Garrus and Liara and, and all those guys, they're probably all going to be gone. It'd be really cool if they did bring back, you know, one or two of them to join this new crew. I think that would definitely help things out quite a bit, but yeah, I am uh, definitely concerned about this one. Like I said, it's my favorite franchise of all time. I really, really hope they do it right. So come on, Bioware. I believe in you. So let's let's do this thing, right? But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that will go ahead and do it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them, leave them below. Thank you all so much for watching. And with that being said, everybody keep playing and have fun.